In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own template for the pupil focus tab of the planner. So this is the place where you're putting your 10 ways that you're going to promote positivity in the classroom. There's been some really lovely examples of people sticking these pieces over the top of that tab. Um, some lovely backgrounds, some lovely ideas. I'm going to show you how you can create your own. Um, so I'm going to do everything today in Microsoft PowerPoint like we did in our tutorial last week. And remember, we're going to design slide size, page setup, and I'm changing it to an A4 piece of paper and making sure it's portrait. And then I'm going to put a rectangle in there for my box. And then I'll give you the exact measurements for the um, tab boxes and I'll put them in the uh, video description as well. So the height of it is 3.9333 and the width is 8.8. Five, seven, eight. Okay, so my rectangle box looks like that. So I'm just going to get rid of the blue fill. Just make it into a plain box. Okay, so I'm not going to create 10 um, boxes yet. I'm going to do everything I want to do to this first and then I can format it um, and then duplicate it in 10 times. So I'm going to make a background for here. So I'm just going to go to Google and all I search for in Google is um, backgrounds and whatever I wanted. But the a good idea is to put the word seamless in it as well. It just makes sure that um, it does. it's a repetitive pattern. It doesn't have any um, end points to the pattern. So um, that's a really handy tip. So background seamless floral. So I'm just going to pick a background that I want. I'm going to have that one. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to save image as. And I'm just going to save it as a box floral. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and I'm going to double click here so it brings my formatting shape options up again. And I'm going to picture fill my shape. It's going to automatically put in the last picture that I had, which was red pop. So I'm going to insert a new picture and I'm just going to search for my picture there it is so insert and then it will insert that and remember that if we don't click the tile picture as texture option all it will do is um stretch that out as far as possible so i'm making sure that i'm clicking that i can create i can move that pattern around so if i don't like the position it's ended up in i can move that around if i want to so I'm just going to leave it like that. So if I wanted to change any of the lines on here, I'm doing exactly the same. I'm going to the format and shape bit and I can have a look at some of these um, fill options and the line options. The line option here, I don't have to have any line at all if I don't want to. So I'm going to get rid of the lines on mine. And then I am going to put a text box over the top so I can type in my idea for my positivity. So I'm going to go to insert text box. I'm going to just put my text box down here it just because if I start dragging here, it's going to move that rectangle over. So I'm just going to put it there. So my first idea is that I'm going to have um have a star of the week each week. Okay, so I'm going to go to home. I'm going to center that. Okay, and I'm going to change the font because it's not a particularly exciting font. So let's have a look just use that one okay so if I put this one up here onto here it's really hard to see it so there's a couple of things I can do to make my font stand out a little bit and um, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger for a start so let's make it 24 so I've got a couple of different options I could create my um, text box and um, make it into a solid fill so I could have a white text box like that looks pretty that looks pretty nice um, or if I didn't want to have a colored text box I could change the um, font so I could have a font that was white so it could stand out a little bit but still not great. The other thing I can do is I'm just going to delete that and I'm going to ins instead of creating a text box I'm going to insert word art. So word art has a couple more options on it so I'm going to choose this one here. Have a star of the week every week change the font again divide the story is going to make it a little bit smaller 
Okay, so if I put that over there now, it stands out a lot better. I could change the glow on here. So all I have to do to change the glow is go to shape formats, text effects, glow, and I can choose a different color for the glow. I could just have a white glow if I wanted to. Looks like that. Um, I could change the outline of the text. I could have it black. I can have, I can make my glow a bit bigger so I can make it so it's really wide. One to two. There's quite a lot of different options about PowerPoint now. I've already got it in white. So there's loads of different things I can do with that. So you decide what you what font you want, how you want to do it, but I'm just going to change mine slightly because I quite like having the fill on the text box rather than having the glow around the font. So I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. So can you see, remember last week when we did it, when you do PowerPoint, when you use your PowerPoint, it comes up with these guides so it can tell me where my center, the center of my rectangle is. So that's perfectly in the center now. So now that I've got everything I wanted in that box, and that box is exactly how I want it to look. All I need to do then is copy and paste that box. So I'm just going to drag my cursor over the top of that to select all of those objects. I'm going to press copy, copy and then paste. And I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to move these boxes over slightly. So I'm just going to highlight them all and then just move them over. It's not like in a Word document for PowerPoint where you have to leave as much of a, um, a margin there the PowerPoint will still print it off and if you go to file and print it will show you a preview of what it looks like here anyway and you can see it's not going to cut it off so I'm going to just cancel that and I'm going to just copy that as many times as I need so I need 10 of them so I'm just going to do that and remember if you look I'm going to select again and just copy all of those and it is showing me exactly where to line up my boxes so that when I'm guillotining these I don't have that awful thing where things are slightly unaligned you end up chopping something off just need one more I'm just going to select two of those okay so then I would change all of my things here then so I could change um this one to um certificate for Um, I could have all of these completely different things so you can see how I've done all I've done is formatted this box and I was able to do it to all these boxes I could change the um, background to these ones as well so if I wanted different backgrounds and all the boxes I do exactly the same thing as I did before I just need to double click the shape and then I need to go to fill and then I'm inserting a different picture source but the easiest way to do it is to do something to that box first, format everything you want, and then just copy and paste it all. So then all you have to do then is change the picture and the text, and you're not duplicating everything um, 10 times. So hopefully that will help. I will put all those measurements onto the description of the video, and make sure you tag me and show me what you come up with.